London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair miners. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and welcome back to yet another Talking Head video. We actually have two other videos that have been recorded for the week, but we are pushing them off because we have more pool announcements getting shut down in China. But the difficulty is not going down as the hash rate goes down. Where's the hash rate going? It's crazy. We're going to get into it right after a word from our sponsor, who today is obviously going to hopefully help you navigate the crypto space. Today's sponsor is Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to centralized exchange for liquidating my crypto assets. With their Crypto.com Visa debit card, I can load up my mined Ethereum to pay for power and other operating costs quickly while earning up to 8% cash back. In addition to the Visa debit card, there are additional fiat options including wire transfers to easily receive your profits. Crypto.com also offers additional services including trading and even staking to earn additional revenue revenue on your investments. Join 10 million plus users buying and selling 100 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost by using my affiliate link in the description for a $25 funding bonus or enter referral code SOAT at sign up for the same bonus. Remember, cryptocurrency investment comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Alrighty, so let's hop into today's announcement, which is going to be from Bpool, who says, Dear users, according to the latest regulations, Bpool is implementing the following measures for an orderly exit. One, stop the registrations of new users and the increase of sub accounts, which I believe is effective at as of right now. Number two, all mining access servers will stop operations as of 2359 on October 15th, 2021, Beijing time. All earnings, number three, all the earnings during the exit period will be generated and delivered as normal, but you are advised to switch in advance so that the machine operations will not be impacted. Number four, all the balances will be cashed in with service charge deductions after we shut down the servers. And number five, please quickly bind the sub accounts that have unbound addresses in the case that these addresses are still unbound as of 2359, October 31st, 2021. We will deem the sub accounts as being abandoned and shut down the cash in channel, user interface and app support. Thanks for your consistent support on Bpool over the past four years. Goodbye. Bpool team dated September 28th, 2020. 21 and another one bites the dust and another one down and another one down how many more will bite the dust presumably everything that's based in china specifically going to be aimed at pools but it looks like at this point the miners are staying online because the difficulty hasn't dropped so where are they going well this is actually an interesting one we did see here boom from stig who, thanks for tweeting this out earlier today, shows okkong.com with a huge increase to 662.77 terahash. I don't think that's accurate, but that is a Hong Kong pool. That actual pool is not working. You can't actually get to that website right now, even with our sponsor Surfshark at this point, but hopefully we're gonna be monitoring and figuring that out in the near future. But if we do take a look at miningpoolstats.stream, they are adding the shutting down here. So if you guys are trying to figure out what pools are shutting down and not, you do have this option. Interestingly enough, you do see an increase, of course, hash rate, of of course, hash rate here recently, as we saw the decrease in hash rate from SparkPool. So what happens now? Where does everything start to go after this? Well, presumably it will be going to Hong Kong and Taiwan. We have a couple that have been getting stood up here that are starting to grow. One is GPUMine.org, which is in Taiwan, and it's gone up seven terahash in the past day. And that is going to primarily be because the ping will be a lot better to Taiwan 
from China than to other countries. And of course, there is the Hong Kong situation to talk about, which now we have another one that just came online online okex.com which has gone up to 225 giga hash not as impactful as the taiwanese or that okay uh, that we saw earlier the okkong.com but these are significant options that we need to be paying attention to where did the hash rate initially go to it went from spark pool to bpool bpool announces of course they're shut down on October 15th. Where is the hash going to go after that? More than likely Taiwan or Hong Kong. I would presume Taiwan. Now, remember this. There's a lot going on with China basically not respecting the sovereignty of nations, specifically uh, Taiwan, as you saw with, of course, the apology from John Mother in sell out Cena and of course we have them with the free Hong Kong issue and getting Blizzard to basically shut down of course any speech about freeing Hong Kong so they don't respect the sovereignty of Hong Kong or Taiwan at this point so even though we see these spinning up this could be that breaking point of some sort of socio-economical war between the countries or it could escalate even further, especially out without protections from Western nations, which, of course, uh, we will, they won't have because we sold that out uh, via corporations. Yeah, that, that's what happened. Anyways, this is going to get real interesting really quick because this is starting to tie in to global economics and politics very quickly, and it's coming to the cryptocurrency scene. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Is it more likely to go to Taiwan or is it more likely to go to Hong Kong for this? Will miners stay active within China and just be mining to pools that are outside of China using some sort of VPN services, etc.? Or will they be moving the facilities from China or mainland China to Hong Kong and Taiwan and possibly over even into the Middle East like we've talked about in previous videos when China's made these threats. China is making good on these threats. I know I see a lot of comments like, oh, China always is talking about banning cryptocurrency and then they buy the dip. You got to keep in mind, there's a difference between the Chinese government too, as well as the Chinese people and the restrictions are still getting hit. And this is the first time ever that we've actually seen it affect mining pools uh, to this degree where pools are getting shut down. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Can't wait to hear from you guys. This issue will probably be talked about a lot this week as we start seeing the hash rate shift. Unfortunately for those, that have been mining and we're hoping for a difficulty drop in the Ethereum mining process due to these pools shutting down. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. Our only glimpse of hope was that people did move from Spark Pool to B Pool and now B Pool is shutting down, but it does look like it will be Taiwan and Hong Kong that host any of these mining pools. And we'll just have to see where it goes from there. Thanks for watching once again. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.